today I'm going to be sanding and painting a Chinese ATV and uh, I'm going to show you everything I do to sand and paint this and to make the paint actually stick to plastics and last. Um, what I'm going to use is an orbital sander for as much of it as I can. The rest of it I'm going to sand by hand with a 120 grit sandpaper. Don't push too hard because you don't want to put dents or gouges in your plastics. These plastics are pretty beat up. but. Uh, they're a complete set and uh, I don't want to pay $150, $200 for new ones. So I'm going to walk you around it real quick. I already started taking it all apart. I've actually done a lot of work to this four-wheeler, painted the rims, uh, put a new wiring harness, a bunch of new stuff to it. Because the guy before me was a meth head, pretty sure. But uh, anyways, you guys see these plastics are pretty beat up. I'm going to sand them all smooth and then tell you everything I use as I'm going through the entire process. I'm going to sand underneath it and paint that black with a rubberized coating. Um, anyways, like I said, these are pretty beat up. I'm going to sand the handlebars, paint those. I have them loose right now because I'm going to take all this stuff apart. Um, you need to remove this. Pretty much just take off all the bolts to get the plastics off. Okay, so before I start any sanding, I'm going to go ahead and remove all these stickers. Because they're old and they kind of look like shit. And I don't want to paint over them because you're going to be able to see them under the paint. So when I'm doing this, my goal is just to pretty much get all these gouges out of it and get it somewhat smooth and level. It's going to look really rough. It's going to look really dull. That's why we're painting it. All these harder to reach spots that I can't reach with the orbital sander, I'm going to sand by hand. The inside of this, I'm probably not going to worry too much about sanding. I'm just going to try to clean it up as good as I can. And uh, after this, I'm going to scrub it all out and wash it. So this is actually the rear end of the plastic. There are a lot of deep scratches. So you definitely want to sand all this smooth before you start painting it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this up close. So when you see it on the ATV, you see how big of a difference it made. This is the front cover. As you can see, there's a lot of deep scratches. Okay, so I'm about ready to start painting these ATV plastics. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take an air gun and I'm just gonna blow off any dust that I created when I first started uh, sanding these plastics. I'm gonna take a wet washcloth, wipe them all down. I'm gonna take it, I'm actually gonna paint all this outside, blow it all off outside. But then I'm gonna take adhesion promoter. That's this stuff. If you don't use this, your plastics will, your paint will start peeling off your plastics right away. I'm just gonna do a coat of that because it's kind of expensive. It's like $10 a coat, or I mean $10 a can. Um, filler primer, I'm gonna do two layers of this, or two coats of this. This is also kind of expensive, about $10 a can. And then I'm gonna use rubber undercoating for the bottom half. For the top half, I'm going to use a just regular Krylon all-in-one paint and primer. Um, it says no peel guaranteed, but if it's on plastic, it's going to peel. Um, I'm going to do two coats of that. And then the top coat, or anything that I paint red, I'm going to use a crystal clear gloss on it just to give it a shine. And uh, I'm going to get started. Like I said, blow it off, wipe it down, adhesion promoter, fill it primer whatever paint or undercoat you want to use and then one layer of clear gloss. So this is after two coats of adhesion promoter. So I got two layers of primer on this now. I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. Then I'll paint tomorrow. Okay, so this is after the clear coat. It's been installed. I'm really happy with it so far. Okay, so these plastics are done, completely painted. They turned out really nice. There's one gouge, but that was a deep gouge that I mentioned that I couldn't get out because how deep it is. But everything else turned out just about 
perfect. I'm really happy with the way this looks. All right, what's up guys? Uh, I don't want to call this one a complete build because I really didn't build the entire thing or fix a lot on it. Um, but I am going to show you how to make it look really nice and it's by painting the plastics. So this entire video is going to be just about painting plastics and uh, going from this to this. But go through a few things I did real quick. Uh, I did put some money into it, but not a lot. So like I said, I didn't want to say painting the plastics. I painted the ATV rims and I painted them to match what the bottom part of the of what the plastics look like. I did put a new wiring harness. This one was kind of old, kind of messed up. The owner before me, I'm fairly sure was a meth head, but uh, he had splices throughout the wiring. He had some toggle switch right here to turn it on. Um, now the toggle switch is gonna be on the handlebars. Uh, the lights work now. I need. I still need to get a headlight for this one. Um, I put a new air filter. Completely went through the carb. I uh, put a new ignition switch. All new electrical components. Let's say that. All new electrical components. Stator. Everything is brand new on it. Battery is going to be brand new. Everything is going to be brand new. Um, I left the original starter. There was nothing wrong with that one. And uh, I went through the entire fuel system. New fuel line. Uh, new petcock. When I first bought this, the petcock was leaking. Um, how to change your pet cock is on is on my uh, on my YouTube channel. Complete wiring harness step by step, literally step by step. How to do a Chinese ATV wiring harness. That's on my YouTube channel, and uh, everything else pretty much worked how it should. I didn't have to change the brake reservoir. I didn't have to change. Or this one actually doesn't have a brake reservoir. I didn't have to change the brakes. Um, everything else is pretty fine. I just went through, cleaned it up, and power washed it because it was covered in dust. And then uh, I painted the plastics, and that's how we got to this. So I'm gonna put all these plastics on, and I'll be right back with you guys. What's up guys this is actually the finished product i painted the atv plastics painted the rims new wiring harness new air filter for the most part this thing ran pretty good i had to put a new petcock when i got it it was leaking but all new electrical components so i know it's a little dark but if you follow these steps i didn't really call this a build i called this uh how to paint atv plastics Underneath, I painted them gray, the same color as those rims. But for the most part, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I don't know if I'm going to sell this yet. I was thinking about making this my personal. It's a 125 with a, with a three-speed transmission. Three-speed forward, one-speed reverse. Anyways, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, as always, if, th if this helped you out, like, comment, subscribe. Follow all those steps and your paint will last. Something else I would recommend is uh, when you're uh, replacing all your hardware, just get brand new hardware. Don't put the same rusty stuff back on there. I also painted the handlebars too, like a matte black. I try to just make it look nicer because I plan on keeping this one. Anyways, as always, like, comment, subscribe.